All right, today we're continuing on with the 9th Gen Impala audio upgrades. Uh, if you hadn't seen in my last video, I'm, uh, I got a 2015 Impala Limited now, and this is what I'm putting the speakers in. This one's got the Bose system. So this is what I'm uh, going forward with, and we'll uh, install these after the intro. Before we get started installing the speakers, there's one thing I want to point out. Um, the Bose system and the LTZ, these uh, speakers are actually a 2 ohm impedance, the Bose speakers are. And most aftermarket speakers are 4 ohms, so when you go to install them into the LTZ model, you might notice... Um, your new speakers don't get quite as loud as the old Bose do. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now that it's noticeable a little bit, but nothing, I wouldn't say it's anything terrible. And you can absolutely run four ohm speakers on a system designed for two. If you went the other direction, that would uh, be trouble. Like if your system was designed for four and you were running two ohm speakers, that would be bad. Um... If you really want to um, try to match these Bose speakers, if you have an LTZ, um, Infinity Kappa series speakers, they have they have some 6.5s that I think are 2 ohms and some 6x9s that are 2.5 ohms. And they, close, they most closely match the Bose. And I just want to point out, nowhere on these speakers do they indicate... That they're two ohm speakers. Um, I just went ahead with putting these punch speakers in anyway. I had I bought them six months ago. I was gonna put them in my 12 Impala, which you know if you have the base model stereo, that you're fine doing a four ohm speaker. Um, another thing you could do, you can drop the impedance by wiring in a uh, four ohm resistor in parallel. That might help out. I'm not going to do that. Um, but let's uh, let's roll with the installation. And if you have an LTZ, this can be for educational purposes. So uh, to get these back speakers out, first thing you're going to need to do, well, you got to take the whole back seat out. So first thing you got to do, there's two little levers under... what they look like you can't really see up in there but i'll show it to you after i get this undone there's one on the passenger side and one on the driver's side and if you just pull on it it'll it'll get the seat up let me see if i can do this holding the camera and then i can show you what those look like yeah see one side lifts and <laughs> okay you might need two people to do this. So actually what I did was I left my hand under this one or I used my left hand to hold this side up and then I reached way over with my right hand and got that side and the whole thing popped up. And you can just take this out. But here, oh, where is it? Right here, see this little thing here? You're reaching up for this little pull handle and it pulls, it unlatches your little lock right there and there's one on each side and you can see this one right here so that's how you get this back seat out or the bottom cushion so let's take that out of the car so to get the uh, upper seat out you're going to need an 18 millimeter deep well and I'm using my trusty uh, impact there's five well uh, three bolts and two nuts wait two nuts excuse me two bolts, three nuts. Bolt here, nut here, because you gotta take the seat belt off. A nut here in the middle, a nut on that seat belt, and a bolt over there, and they're all 18 millimeters, and those all need to come out. Awkward. 
forward. One bolt. One nut. Now the seatbelt thing, oh, I suppose you can throw it to the side. You can keep it there. One more nut. Another nut. And the last bolt right here. Boom. Now I'll get out of the car and I'll show you how to get that seat out. So now this thing's just there's like little hangers on the top there and all you really got to do is just uh, lift out up and out I suppose I forgot to get this seat belt out of the way that's uh, that could be a problem trying to do this holding the camera get out of the away from that and then just lift up in the back and then, boom that should come up and I can't do it with the camera, so let's just do this off camera. So I went and I went and lifted up. I got the seatbelts out of the way. I put that one up there. I'm gonna go back on tripod here. And we'll get that seat out. Here's the back side of it, and this is where it, there's four little spots. And these are the full bounce seats, and all comes out as one deal. And so the next thing, we're gonna take these uh, seat belts out of the way. They kind of just go through here, and there's a couple of clips. One here, one over there. We get these seat belts down out of the way. And this thing should just pull right forward and out. All right, I was gonna try to, I wanted to do this off camera. I was gonna take this connector out off camera. I'd got my tool into there, pried it out, and it went, landed right in there. <laughs> so I think on the other side, I'm gonna cover that up in case that happens again. I don't know how in the actual fuck I'm gonna get that out of there. I uh, might just take my shot back down there and see if I can vacuum it out. <laughs> yeah, one of those things. So, yeah, anyway, we'll do the other one off camera. Hopefully I don't have that misfortune. So here it is out. So, um, I'm not taking these D-pillar covers off. And there's little things that go up under them. I just kind of tacoed it up in the middle and got them out from under there. And then it just came right out. I mean, it's just fabric, or, you know, it's kind of flimsy. So, uh, this car has the bows, and I am not going to replace these um, three-inch dome tweeters, whatever you want to call them. I'm just replacing the 6 by 9s And on this um, Bose system, the amp only sends the low frequencies to the uh, 6 by 9s So, my new t uh, speakers that have the tweeters built in probably won't get that signal and you know until they come up with something that'll match I, I don't know I mean I could put separate tweeters in there but I'm just gonna leave it for now it's not really a big deal and <laughs> even those these are marked bows they're kind of crappy anyway so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and prep this these should uh, the clips are, let me look under the trunk. You push in the clips and that thing comes up. Oh, and by the way, if you have a LS or LT, you're not going to have these. Or unless, you know, I don't know. The way these things are optioned up, let's just say if you do not have a Bose, because I don't know if the lesser models came with Bose. I thought it was just an LTZ thing, but 
whatever. So with these uh, Metro speaker adapters, you do not need to do any kind of wiring. And basically it's plug and play. Just put the uh, black to the negative side and white to the positive. Do that one for each. Uh, let me just make sure that's what it says on the back. Black is negative, white is positive. So literally we're just gonna... Positive on this one's got the large terminal. Oh, and they're, oh, they're even coordinated. Oh man, I didn't even realize that. Couldn't get any simpler than this. Just gotta make sure my character will fit. I don't know if this one's gonna fit. Well, neither one of them do. So I'm gonna be cutting these off and putting some bigger terminals on there. Well, so much for that. It's good to know. So, I'm um, gonna re retract what I said about those uh, wire connectors if you have a z uh, Bose. I think if you have the non bows you do need them, but uh, so I came in here um, Contrary to popular belief. These are not seven millimeters. They're one quarter um, On the bows check it out You already have spade terminals one says plus one says minus So I'm just gonna connect my new speaker to that and Drop them right in I'm not gonna pull these out from the trunk. I think the non bows there's a little tab you push and this whole thing comes up but these are easily removed from the top all right so i just wanted to show you how puny these stock bose speakers are i don't know if the camera will focus on it but it says bose right here but look at how puny and look at my new fosgates um they plugged right in and this big beefy sucker just drops right down in there and it fits good I will make sure these uh oh I'm not even <laughs> sorry I'm holding the camera I just gotta make sure these bolts or these uh, screws yep okay I might have to put a washer uh-huh might need to put a washer on these screws because these uh, openings are kind of I apologize for the shaky camera. I'm not looking through the uh, screen here. Yeah, I'm gonna go put some washers under here just to get them to, just so they don't uh, come out. Let's see how they look in the... Whoa, look at that. Big, big and beefy, oh, let's pop the trunk. it to the stocks puny little ass speaker wow well I'm telling you with that Bose amp this is really gonna this is gonna thump okay I'm taking back what I meant to, what I said about the uh, needing washers on these screws these uh they're shouldered so they just kind of sit down in there you might the very end of the head might get rounded off if you're not careful but they do go down in there there's one thing I wanted to point out that you're gonna need to do on the Bose system here let me get my light situated right here you got a couple of little like retaining whatever the hell keeps the old speaker from sliding just bust these out I took my channel locks to it oh get back the camera just bust them off and then it'll sit in there better or you can take a saw to it I don't know whatever I'm just gonna I found they bust off easy enough so that's what I'm gonna do and then I'll put the speaker back in so actually I found it was easier just to take a little hacksaw and buzz it buzz those two little tabs off it worked better than trying to use a pliers but now we'll see that this just uh, let's make sure we're going the right way here Now you got a little more play, a little more room to flatten this down. 
And then like I said, these uh, line up the holes and uh, away you go. Which, you know, hard to do when you're holding a camera. Hard to see when you're holding a camera. Some way, somehow. There we go. We'll get those on and uh, we'll chuck this out of here. In the pile, as another YouTuber would say. I'm not gonna throw it. Hold on to it. It's not it's not blown. If yours is blown, throw it out, but look how shitty these things are. The paper cones. I call it a I mean Bose puts their name on this. This is a shit paper. It ain't any better than the <laughs> crappy stock GM. A little tiny little magnet. Yeah, I don't know why Bose would put their name on this. Okay, gonna hold the camera here and do this one-handed. Showing you what I'm doing here. flat spot there for the speaker to sit on. We'll do the same here. Got that other one started while I wasn't holding the camera. So you get the gist. Just do that. It doesn't take much with a little hacksaw. You don't need anything fancy. And I'll just show you how this one's sitting. Nice and flush. On this passenger side one, the wires are towards the back of the, well, get the camera on it, towards the back of the window. But the connectors are, you know, we got a small one negative, big one positive, so you don't have to worry about wire colors. They just plug right in. Okay, so I have successfully swapped the Atoto over to my 15 Limited now. <laughs> we got the, uh, Jump drive loaded up. We're gonna see how she bumps. So make sure I don't have the radio on here. That's Bluetooth, isn't it? I can't remember what's what here. USB, there we go. No, we can't play. No, 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 come on, come on. Shit. <laughs> I can't play. <laughs> the hell's my... Alright. Oh, there it is. There it is. Shut up and sit down. hits. I gotta get the car put back together. I think it'll...
I think it'll hit a little harder when I got the uh, all the seat back in in the trunk. We'll check back in with that when I get it all buttoned up. Okay, so that uh, upper cover went in really easy. Didn't have to bend it or anything. It just went right back in. I kind of finagled the seats in. And just uh, remember before you hook it up to bring those seat belts, the uh, side seat belts around. I, I did put the uh, flip the middle one up here and you can reattach it. So I just brought these out from behind here, under here, boom, just so they're, you know, free. So now I'm going to lift it up and in and you can see where they hook in there so simple enough I'll set the camera up and you can watch There she is, just like that. Didn't take too much heaving. So now you gotta remember to put your seat belts back like that. And one nut goes there. Let's get it started. You don't wanna cross thread these things. Hard to do with one hand. Uh, right, just make sure they're the same. Yeah. You got your one there. You got your bolt. We're just going to get these all started, and then I'm going to hit it with the uh, impact. So let's get this all straight. Make sure she's straight. That's gonna go like this. Let me see here. She's a little tangled. Let's make sure she's untangled before we put her on. There, that's better. There. We'll put the nut on there and the bolt over there. And we'll be golden. Let's start with this one. Middle one. I got it on the uh, 300, 300 foot pound or the three setting. I think that's supposed to be 300 foot pounds, whatever. Could be completely wrong about that. See, that's not straight. You gotta make sure that's straight. Make sure she's straightened out. <laughs> make sure that's in there, right? Well, hard to do when you're holding the camera. You get the you get the gist of it. I'm gonna finish this up, and then uh, we'll put the put the bottom cushion in. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that back seat in. Should be simple. Get her in like this, and then lock her down. Make sure them seat belts are in there. That's it. Good and solid. Man, oh wow. 
on the nickel. It's welded to the thing. Oh, wow. Somebody glued a nickel on there. That's funny. I got to get the camera in on that. I never noticed that before. <laughs> oh, man. That is totally glued on there. <laughs> well, if you're the person that owned my car before me, kudos. That's pretty damn funny. All right, let's, uh, we're buttoned up. I'll close up the sunroof, start the car, and uh, we'll see how the uh, bumps sound now with everything all buttoned up. All right, let's fire this up and uh, let's try that dubstep sound song again. Throw some revs at her. Yeah, my hood's open because I'm going to clean my MAF sensor. Let's go. Woo, she bumps. Holy crap. I still have the uh, front speakers to do, which will be on the next video. So uh, that's how you change out your back speakers on your ninth gen Impala. And this was the LTZ model. The uh, lesser model should be similar. Just you're not dealing with that uh, with the uh, two separate speakers in the back there. And you'll probably want to use those speaker adapters that I got. I think that'll be the only difference for you. So uh, we're going to wrap this one up. We're going to call this uh, part three. Part four will be the front door speakers. Uh, we're doing the Fosgates. Where do I have them there? Oh, there they are right there. That's up next. So uh, thanks for sticking around. Be sure to check out my other videos. Go back and watch the, uh, check the playlist. I have the uh, videos for putting in tweeters and the Atoto 10 inch head unit, which ironically I did on my old car, but have since moved to this car. So going forward, everything's going to be on this car. Thanks for visiting. See you in the next one.